Hi, my little nation, it's me, Nalina Nines, and today I'm going to be dipping into the Bling Boss Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette. This is her collaboration with Morphe, obviously, and I bought her Bling Boss palette, which I'm really, really excited to swatch, especially the shade Buried Treasure. It's the only reason why I got this palette is because of that one shade. I really, really don't think Jacqueline Hill deserves as much hate she's getting. I just watched her recent video where she's like swatching all these multi palettes and you know, explaining to her, like explaining it to us, you know, about all the whole problem and everything. And I feel like people make the most smallest things really big, like all the time, especially with like Laura Lee, for example, how that whole thing exploded. They took something like from forever ago, brought it up and destroyed her career. Like everyone, I think people change. I mean, same thing with the whole Jeffree Star thing. And it's just, it's crazy. It really is how the beauty community, or community as everyone calls it, it's not really a community. It's actually turning into like a cult. Like seriously, it's becoming like the beauty cult. Everyone takes things way too seriously. Everyone gets offended by fucking everything. I mean, you can't even let a little kid play in makeup without it being called abuse or, you know, stuff like that. So when Laura Lee did tweet that one tweet from like 2011, 2013, whatever the hell it was, and people brought it up and everything else like that, and now calling her a horrible person for something she wrote years and years and years and years and years ago. You know, I think it was even probably before she even became well known on YouTube. So of course people change. And I know that I've changed. I know Jeffree Star has changed. Uh, people change. And I think Laura Lee, the only reason why her apology was bullshit is because she really didn't have anything to apologize for. People get offended by the most slightest things. Yes, what she said wasn't like, wasn't appropriate, I guess you should say. Like it was kind of offensive, but you know what I mean? Like everyone, some point in their life it says something that could possibly offend an entire race or an entire you know a group of people we've all said things whether it was on social media or joking around with a friend you are not innocent no one is innocent we've all said offensive ass shit before and i think because if she had such a high platform that destroyed her that you guys destroyed someone's life and it's not cool. It really isn't. And then I'm nowhere near defending what she said, but I'm just saying that to judge someone off their past is something that, you know, you just don't do that, okay? And that's the only reason why I think her apology was bullshit. She had a fake cry just to feel like she had to win you guys back, you know, all this stuff because you know, if I was to tweet something not in that area, but tweet something that someone brought up and was like, you said this and this and this, let's tear, you know, Melina Knives channel down, you know, all this stuff like that, you know, I probably wouldn't make a realistic, like, apology video for that because I'm not sorry. You know, maybe she wasn't sorry for saying what she said because she didn't think it was that big of a deal and everyone else made it a big deal. You know, she probably meant it as like a joke. She probably, in her video, she said retweet, but she didn't retweet it. She just tweeted it. But you know, like sometimes they have like messages or jokes that you think is funny. So you retweet it yourself. So I think that's what she ended up doing. But it also depends on the kind of people. So obviously what she said offended a certain group of people. And even if that, it's just everyone gets offended by everything. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, this video was not meant to be a rant. But I just feel like, why do people feel the need to judge people off something they said forever ago? Like, that's not cool. That's not right. That isn't what the beauty community is. We are supposed to love each other and support each other, not tear each other down. I guess we're all desensitized to stuff. And I think that's what the world comes to. Like, a lot of us are still desensitized. You know, you can't make certain jokes anymore without people getting offended by every little thing. So, I'm just here to tell you that when I swatched this Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, you know, I'm not thinking like, this palette was made by a liar. Let's see. And then start hating on the formula just because you don't like the person. No, that's not what we're about. And I'm not even calling Jaclyn Hill a liar. I've seen so many videos where everyone tries to make her seem like a liar, but it's all in editing. 
Honestly, I feel like editing has a lot to do with everything. You can totally twist someone's words around, just edit it and make a new sentence. You know what I mean? So no one really knows the truth. And there's a whole bunch of like my truth videos coming out. And it's just like, I don't know, maybe this is fucking my truth, you know? So this is like my opinion, my truthful opinion, I should probably put it as. But I feel like we should not hate Jaclyn Hill, you know? Um, like I said, I do not know her like from a span over years. I've probably seen maybe a total of 10, 15 videos from her. But honestly, I would love to be your friend. You know, I, I know how weird that sounds, you know, kind of like a kid. I want to be your friend. But I feel like that same way with a lot of people like Jeffree Star, I feel like we'd be incredible friends. Um, James Charles. So if you're still here listening to my rant, um, I thank you. I will get swatching right now. I just felt like I had to say that because, you know, I want to spread love and positivity. And I feel like there's a lack of that in the community as of right now. <laughs> A lot of people, especially with James Charles, oh my god, he actually had to sit in front of the camera and speak about his feelings about like, listen, you guys call me, you know, this and this and that, and basically dissing is singing. Everyone sings different, and I just, I love his voice, to be honest. He, he's a really good singer. Um, everyone has their own style. Just, it's just, it kills me how much negativity is out there, you know? You can't post a video without fearing that oh, this person isn't going to like this, or this isn't going to be like, this isn't acceptable, and you're put back into a box. You're afraid to get out of the box because you're afraid of what people are going to think about you. You know, and that's a scary thing. People are shutting down their channels because of how much hate they've gotten. You know, it's just so insane. It's not something we can, I don't want to say it's not something we can change, but it's something we can't really control, you know? So it's just something, sadly, that we're going to have to deal with. But we shouldn't have to. But we do. Even me, I got hate on a couple of my videos, you know, and things like that. And some of them need to be, like, constructive criticism. But I guess the way it worded off, like, the way they worded some things did sound like hate. I try to erase as much as I can. Other ones I just leave and ignore. Um, I haven't gotten that popular on YouTube, so the hate is still minimal. But I can just imagine it on a greater scale, like sitting in Jacqueline's chair right now. How much drama and stress she's dealing with. And then on top of that, you guys are calling her shade bullshit and stuff like that. How they're swatching and inconsistencies and all this stuff in her palettes. And I'm just, I can't imagine how much stress that's putting her under. So if you're one of those people who just seem to leave comments underneath people's videos that aren't very positive... Think twice, please, because you wouldn't like it if you were treated the same way as you're treating someone else. And that's just me just speaking, so I didn't have that whole speech planned at all. Um, the first shade is called Bling Boss, and this is really, really pretty, and this is in Hush Hush, Gem, Pizzazz, and Mystic. So there's one, two, three, four, five shades, so what I'm going to do is do three and then two. So one, two, three, and then it's gonna be one and two. So one, ooh, these are really soft. Two, oh my God, I love this, three. Look at this, this is so pretty. Look at this purple. These are so cute. No, look at this. It has like that wet look to it. Oh my god, I want to use that as a highlighter. Bitch. Look at this. Look at this purple. Purples are so hard to make. And for people to even say there was like inconsistencies in some of these shades. Oh my god, where? This is so pretty. Look at that purple. It's not even streaky or anything. And usually like past the, all like the majority of these palettes that I swatched so far, the purples were actually like powdery and chunky, but they were also fakes. But, oh my god, I am rambling. This is so pretty. Okay, pizzazz is this one right here that I'm going to swatch. Okay. And, ooh. And then this one is Mystic. Nice. Okay. Mystic. I love, like, 
the layout of this palette too. It's very like, I'm not gonna say simple, but it's very clean. It just reminds me of like a clean palette. I don't, maybe it's the white, but it's very classy. It's, it's beautiful. It really is, it's so pretty. Here is the first row. I like this a lot, I really do. And I wanna do a look with this look like right now, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Cause the shade Sparks, Glitz and Glam, and then Rockstar. So here is Sparks, Glitz and Glam, and Rockstar. These are so pretty. Oh my God. Look at this. This is so, this shade right here, it's giving me like wet highlighter vibes. Oh my God. It's like very foily. I am feeling that. That's so pretty. This one is Ballsy. Oh my God, I was called Ballsy by my um, what was her, what was her name? I'm gonna say her name, um, my advisor. My advisor actually called me Ballsy before because of my hair. It was like pink, green, blue, all shits, all shits of colors. I'm gonna say all shorts, so, sorts of colors. You're going to start with Ballsy. Oh, that's so beautiful. And then this color right here, Buried Treasure. Oh. Oh, excuse the face, but wow, that. That fucking shade, look at this. Look at this shit. Oh, come on, focus, bitch, focus. <laughs> I can't reach my camera. Pretty, holy moly. It's like three different colors. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a brown and then a green and a slight pink gold shade. Ooh, that's really off focus. All right, maybe, ah, oh, look at that. Look at that shade. Uh. Leave down in the comments below what you guys think of this palette. I absolutely fucking love it. Like, oh my God, look at these shades. What the fuck? These are so pretty. Oh my goodness. I just, I love this. I need to breathe. This palette took my breath away. Like, I just, what the fuck? So pretty. So, so beautiful. I'm in love with this palette, Jaclyn Hill. I'm in love with it. You can send me the Vault Collection if you like. Just kidding, you don't know me. I don't know. Why would, why would you send me stuff? But anyway, this is so beautiful. Oh my god, so pretty. So, so, so pretty. It's not like I was going to wrap, like, so, 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 so pretty. So leave down in the comments below. I'm not sure if I said this already. If I did, you're hearing it twice. Leave down in the comments below what you think about this palette. And, you know, leave down some nice stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video. Well, oh my god, I have two more palettes left. I can't believe it. I'm doing it, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.